Now, as a community, you all love a starter home. I'm not usually the most capable of starter home builders, but recently I've been inspired to build starter homes in every single world of The Sims 4. So that is what we're gonna start doing. And today, we're gonna build a starter home in the world of Sulani, which came with The Sims 4 Island Living expansion pack. I got inspired recently by my lovely friend, Little Simsy, AKA Kayla. And I saw that she built a starter home in the world of Sulani. And I was like, I would like to give that a go too. So that is what we're gonna go and do today. So without further ado, let's flop on over to the lot that I have chosen and I'll introduce you to the Sim who is moving in. Now, welcome to the beautiful world of Sulani and welcome all of you thirsty, thirsty bitches to Makoa Kamalani. I mean, I'm absolutely for him. Did he need his top off for this intro? No, but did I do that anyway? Yes. Yes, I did. Nips out for everybody, darlings. And this is the lot that I've decided to build this starter home on, this beautiful beachside lot. I think it's a 30 by 20. I just wanted the lot to actually go in the water. I've made Makoa be kind of a conservationist, an outdoor sim who loves being in the outdoors. So having a beachside lot kind of reflected on that for him. So this is where we're going to build it today. Yes, we are indeed. Now, Polynesian style homes... Uh, they differ from wherever they are and but they've all got kind of subtle similarities so we're going to try and make that apparent today now there was a great house on this there was a starter home on this lot that was absolutely gorgeous but i decided i wanted to build my own so that's what we're going to do today yes we are indeed so i have got a reference image to the side of me here i just like the shape of this house so i'm going to go for it i do actually think this is more of a resorty looking house but we're going to try and get in as many traditional looking windows, doors, wallpapers and like roofing textures and stuff just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. So that's what we're going to do. Right. Is, can we get a hmm, willow two? I think what we might have to do is shorten it down here just so I can get a nice roof shape on the top here. Or I could even widen it and have it there and then we can have more floor plan area. Even though I do want the majority of this house to be not the outside but a lot of outside kind of fun bits including a ladder straight into the water we are going to raise it up on stilts i would love a little bit of a platform out here maybe a three wide platform all the way along and then i'm going to put the platform out the back right into the water as well now this is all free but we need to remember floor space equals more floor tiles aka textures that cost more money so we need to be careful I'm going to put a hipped roof all the way along. I'm going to do you to there, my love. Bipti bapti boopti you over there. That is a technical term, if you were wondering. Bipti bapti boopti. I'm then going to bring you all the way down to about there. And then what I want to do is bring a gabled roof. Do you know what? I think we need to widen it. I do think we need to widen this. That's better. And then I can bring that up just a little tad, just to get a good silhouette going on here. Ah, oh, do you know what? I could actually... I was just about to say, I'm not going to do a roof line over on this part, but I think it would look quite nice if we did that. Yep, we're going to do that as well. And I'm going to flop you over to this way, my love. I do think we need to bring oh, both flaps out just one like that. That's nice. That's a nice shape. Yes. Yes. And I am going to put this down as well a little bit more like that. Oh, that's a lovely silhouette we've got going on there, darling. And we've still got 17k and we've done fuck all. <laughs> So what I need to do now is pick some wallpapers, some windows, and I also just want to make out a little floor plan. So I've pulled out everything that we need. I've had a little play around with kind of aesthetics. We're going for kind of a brighter kind of vibe, still sticking with the darker exterior in that, but I really want a pop of white in with the windows. So that's what we're going to do. I've also sorted out a floor plan. Now I've gone past the idea of having this as a two bedroom. Just because the shape and the size of this house doesn't really give the need for a two bedroom. So he's on the lookout for love. He just hasn't found it yet. And maybe when he does, he can put in a little cheeky extension over to the side. So what we're going to do, I am going to have the entrance door here. This is going to be a toilet. This is going to be the kitchen area. Maybe the dining, but I would like a bit of dining outside. So I'm not too worried about having a dining table on the interior. 
this is going to be the kind of living room area as well with a door coming out onto the main where they do a lot of their and he does a lot of his entertaining and whatnot out on the decking uh so this is what i've come up with we're going to make a start by putting on maybe the roof textures first now i'm thinking of using this lovely texture from island living i'm going to put in the trim to match in with that as well there we go and then what we're going to do is paint the whole of this build in this texture here i know the foundation has gone like this and um, we'll get that sorted once we've got everything on the house up here i'm going to go for a lighter aesthetic though so we're going to pop that up the flooring we're going for is from cottage living it's just a little bit less expensive than the wooden textures from island living they're very expensive i'm going to put them in each of the rooms as well and also out on the decking at the back then what we're going to do is put on the windows and doors so i'm thinking this would be a great entrance door let's get the grid on so we can see that we're putting it equally in the middle i think that is perfect i'm going to do two of those tiny windows here i'm going to do one here into the bathroom and another one just to match in on that side let me see you are you wonky you're wonky we're going to pop you to there then and then what i wanted to do is maybe put one up here and on the back these are only 30 simoleons so we don't really need to worry too much about spending out on some windows i think we're going to be okay we've still got 15k left and then what i'm going to do is add up oh add up these here to the front facade we're going to put one there one there one there one there and i'm going to do the same at the back as well so and i think just one on that side as well now the fences i didn't really i like the fences with island living i just didn't feel like it matched in well with this aesthetic so i've gone from for the ones from high the high school pack i just think these just fit in nicely with this house so that's what we're going to do can i i drop that foundation i can beautiful do you see what I mean? It just brightens it up a little bit, having the whiter kind of look that we're going for here. And I'm kind of for that, I really am. Now, windows into the sides and the interior. I'm going to use these here. I'm going to flop one of these on this side, another one there. I'm going to move you down a little bit more, just so we can fit counter space on this part here. I'm also going to copy this. Oh, actually, I'm going to use a smaller one there. I forgot about that. Still use it in the white, though. I do need it to match in. Gorgeous. And I'm going to flop you to maybe around about there. And then you use this window here on the bedroom area. So he's got this kind of flap opening window on that side. And two more of those side windows that we've used over there. I'm going to plop them. One there. And then another one needs to go there. It is right up against the boundary of the toilet. But that doesn't matter too much. So what I wanted to do. Let's get some stairs here. Now these are the cheapest kind of see-through stairs. So I'm thinking about doing a three wide here just like that i think i'm just going to leave it open like that but leave the stairs in the middle like this uh, and not do any fence on either side and i think over to this side here i'm not going to put a fence all the way along i'm just going to put it in up to where the pillar is and then the rest is just going to be open to the sea okay i'm kind of happy with how that vibe is coming across i think that's really nice we've still got 13k so what we need, I need to go in and get everything that he's going to need to survive and get some lighting and stuff in this place. So I'll be right back. Now, I've pulled out things that I just think fit in with the aesthetics quite nicely. So that's what we're going to do. And I've also lightened up the flooring, lightened up the flooring and used the exterior wall colour on the interior just so we still get a bit of that warmth in. But I've lightened up the flooring and I just prefer it. I've also lifted up this area here, which is going to be the living area, up onto a platform, which made me lift up the bedroom. And I've also put a little platform out here um, from this door. Now, that door does cut in slightly to that level there, but I'm going to forgive it. And we're just going to let it be, darlings. Yes, we are indeed. So we're going to make a start. I'm just putting things around. And then we've still got 8,000 simoleons to make things look very beautiful and maybe swap out a few items here and there definitely with the bathroom i picked out a bit of a weird um combination in the bathroom we'll see what we can do with that we're going to start with the bedroom though so i'm going to flop in a bed first so i'm using this bed here from island living it was quite expensive but we're going to flop it in anyway i'm going to put it right up looking out onto that view there i mean i would like to wake up to that view but that view is going to be blocked now because i am going to be putting this dresser in the way <laughs> because this dresser uh it's the only area that it can fit in quite nicely i think so sadly that's where it's gonna go 
Uh, we'll still add on to that. As I said, we're just going to plonk stuff around first. Now, I've bought out an outdoor shower. I thought an outdoor shower would look great here. And it just makes sense getting in from the seawater, being able to wash it off before you go into the interior. That is why I've picked out a bath for the bathroom. But we'll see what happens there. Now, I'm going to use these here. I'm going to use these. Did these come with... They come with a high school pack. I just thought this soft vibe in here would be nice. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put one here and I'm going to do another one just on this side here. I would love to get some pillars in here to maybe separate off the living area. I could do that by means of a half wall. Oh no, I do like that actually. We'll do that, but I am going to change the wall trim out for a white wall trim just to bring in even more of that white aesthetic that we're trying to get across in here. Now, I'm going to use the island living counters. They are expensive, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to put one there. This is where the sink's going to go here. This bin, the wicker bin of dreams, is going to go down to there. We're going to get a corner piece. I'm going to flop you to there like that. Now, we might be able to get a better oven and fridge, but for now, I'm just going to get these in and see if we've got enough money at the end to upgrade the fridge and the oven. But we've got everything there that they would need. That is a nice little area. And I think like a small circle dining table would look nice in here. So maybe we can do that too. And we've gone for the table and chairs. I think this one, these chairs are from the paranormal pack. And this one here is from Cottage Living. Just wanted a tablecloth on it. And I've gone with a little soft peachy pink vibe for there. And I think that's a good area. It made me move the lights, but I'm I'm okay with that. I think that will be fine. Definitely want some things up on the wall and stuff. Uh, maybe some shelving. But again, we are not going for um, decorations just yet. We need to get all the necessities in first. Yes, we do. So I'm going to use those there. I would like a TV in here. I might meander one sofa here and one sofa here instead. It's making me want to extend the half wall out one more, which I probably will do. So I've extended that half wall along and I've picked out some items for the living area as well. So I've maneuvered the sofas into that position. I'm going to put a side table using the one from Jungle Adventure and the light from Island Living as well, the candle. I just think that suits the vibe. I'm going to put you to about there. We're going to put a bookcase over on this area here and this beautiful leafy boy that I use everywhere. So we've got that there. I then pulled out the cheapest TV that we could possibly manage and I'm going to put it on top of here and hope for the best. I mean, it doesn't look great, but this is a start at home. We have to just make do. Now, I'm going to use this rug here, but it's a little bit small. So I'm thinking of sizing it up one. That's a bit too big. So I'm going to actually size it up with the tool mod. And there we go. I did a 1.5 with the tool mod. We've still got 5,000 simoleons left, and I like the look of the living area. I would like some more decorations and stuff in here. I'm not really feeling the TV moment there. I'm really not, but the other TVs are just far too expensive. So what I want to do now is concentrate on just pulling out a few more items, especially for out here. We want a nice entertaining space out here. Dining room, sofa sitting area, maybe with those egg chairs. I would like to use them out here. And I also just want a few more decoration pieces. So let me just pull out an array of beautiful things and we'll flop them around together. Starting with the decking. I have put a ladder down already. I've player tested it as well so we can get in the water absolutely fine. And this is what we're going to do out here. I'm going to use this barbecue from the Desert Lux pack. I'm going to flop you into here, my love. I think that would be perfect there. Dining table and chairs, and maybe around about here. So it is kind of got some shelter underneath. I've also put some lighting. These were very expensive. And I also did that out the front as well and put two plants here, including an outside bin as well. Oh, I have also managed to upgrade the uh, fridge and also the oven for the cottage living ones. I just think they suit in with the aesthetics in here a little bit more than the others. So that's what we're gonna go for in there. I've pulled out these egg chairs. I think these would be perfect just side by side next to each other here looking out onto the water and i thought this would be the perfect space as well to do a bit of yoga so i'm going to put a yoga mat right there in fact we're going to turn it that way so it looks out onto the sea yes very much for that so we still need to put extra decor in the bedroom we've only only got 974 simoleons left 
but I do want some side tables. I would love some side tables here. So I think what we're going to use is the outdoor retreat ones because they're only 60 and it just gives me that woody, rusticy kind of vibe. Now they are absolutely gigantic, so I am going to size them down, I think. So good luck to anybody who tries to put anything on them. Now this room needs some decoration, but I wouldn't mind bringing in some kind of tapestry into this room. So let me see what I can find just to give this place a little bit more life. And we did manage to find a tapestry using this one here from Jungle Adventure. Just a bit of that blue to complement these warmer tones in here. Also put in two candles, move them down with a tool mod so they might be floating by the time you get them off the gallery, but I tried, okay? And then what we did over here is just put in a nice little plant in this corner and then using that rustic mirror uh, from the outdoor retreat pack on the other side. So that is a working bedroom and it just looks a little bit more attractive uh, oh, and a rug as well, sorry. And the wicker kind of looking rug in here as well. And I'm vibing with that. I think that will really work. So we've got the bathroom to do. We've only got 354 simoleons left. So I'm a bit worried about doing this, to be honest. I think what I'm going to do is maybe change the tone of the bath in here. Yes. Which in turn is going to make me want to change the sink. That sink is 200 simoleons. Or oh, that one. Do you match him with that bathtub? Oh, you do. Oh, we're going to do it. I'm going to use this sink here then. Still going to keep this toilet. So this toilet will be breaking all of the time. So be warned. I mean, I could get rid of the bath because we have got the outside shower, but I just want it in here. I don't know why. I just do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You know, so we do need a mirror up here. Oh, that's better. And that doesn't cut into the tap either. Oh, there we go. How much are you? 50 simoleons. Stunning. I'm trying to keep money because I still want to put a few decorative objects in the kitchen somehow. So I'm hoping we've still got enough money left at the end. And a toilet roll. I'm going to go for that goldy vibe on this side there. I uh, haven't really got enough money for any towels, so they're just going to have to get out and drip dry. <laughs> that is the storyline, and that is what I'm sticking to. So as I said, I want to get some decorative objects up here. Now, what I had in my head was those collection of three shelves, but... By the looks of this, they're too expensive. <gasps> they're 300 simoleons. Oh, and I couldn't put anything on them, even though they do come with objects already on them. Are you kidding me? 350 simoleons just because you've put up a fucking pot, a cutting board and a pan. You can do one. Oh, we need something there, though. Let me see what I can find. So screw you, game. You will not beat me. What I did is use <laughs> the curtain rails from... The Desert Lux pack. I used them as shelves and they work so well as shelves. I obviously had to lift these up with the nine key so they would fit on top of it, but that's just brought a little bit more decoration into the kitchen area. Uh, one thing I am missing, sadly, is a smoke alarm. So your Sims will probably burn to death in this house and I can only apologize for that. I'm very sorry. Uh, but I think we haven't done too badly with the actual house itself. Now, we still haven't finished because what I would like to do is sit this house into the landscape a little bit more. Yes, this is a beach lot, but I would love a bit more of this greenery coming out around here, maybe some trees next to it. So I'm going to use the debug. Now, I did say or did ask if we had a specific island living one, and I don't think we do, do we? That's a shame. So what I'm going to use instead is one of these. Oh, where can I put you, though? Maybe up in the corner there. Yeah, we're going to flop you to there. We have got a mailbox. We'll get rid of that one. And then I'm going to go in and pull out some of this gorgeous stuff just to sit this house into the landscape a little bit more. I'll be right back. And there we have it. I've used some debug landscaping just in the front areas of the actual house itself just so it nestles it into the landscape. And I've also played around with a bit of the terrain paint going around the whole exterior. Uh, I'm for it. I think this has came together quite nicely, actually. Yeah, came together quite nicely. I would have loved to have added on extra details into here, but I think it's going to do exactly what we wanted to do, and it doesn't feel like a start at home to me. I'm just that. Yeah, I'm absolutely for it. So it's obviously got this nice little decking space there. Entertaining. You can have outdoor showers, do a bit of yoga, a bit of a barbecue absolutely there for that who's that over there no idea moving in through the front entrance here so you come straight in through this way into the kitchen area so you come into the kitchen area got a complete with a little dining table everything that you would need in the kitchen apart from as i said a smoke alarm so you might want to get that in post haste um it's got a raised little platform area up into a 
a small living area nook. Obviously, you come through this way. We did do the bathroom in here, complete with a full bath. And a, to a toilet and a sink. Gorgeous. And then you come into this area here, which is the main master bedroom as well. Uh, the master bedroom being here. I think the master bedroom is probably my favourite part. I do like how the master bedroom came out. Uh, but I also like the living area too, the little living area nook. Kind of happy with that. And then obviously, you come out through the back door onto your own private deck right into the sea. I mean, imagine uh, 20,000 simoleons for this in real life. Yeah, all right, love. See you later, darling. It was lovely to have you. Thank you for being my stand-in sim for this house. I think he's going to be very happy here. Yes, I do. Anyway, we are done for today. Let me know how you think I did down below. Um, it's nice. I think it came together quite all right. I really do. I will be back on Tuesday with more from Let's Build the Worlds. I hope you have the most marvellous weekends, my love. And I'll see you all again next week. Goodbye.